Hey everybody. One of the things that I'm seeing online a lot are parents asking for ways to entertain their children. So my wife, Angie, and I kind of came up with this brainchild where we are going to try and post some videos of things that you can do with your kids. Some of these are things that uh, I've already done with my kids. Some of them are things that I've looked up in books or online. And so I just want to try and get some ideas out there uh, for you to work with, things that will work with all kinds of ages, okay? And things that will keep parents from losing their mind and day drinking. So, in order to do that, all you need for this first game is called Nine Men's Morris. And in order to play this, all you need is a permanent marker, a sheet of paper, uh, something to represent nine pieces on each side. So a total of 18. I just like to use dimes, pennies, you can use anything. You can use buttons, you can use all kinds of stuff. Uh, but that works well too. And so you just need those things and your favorite child. So uh, Claire, you can go. All right, hello Elise. Hello. Now, so in order to draw the board, this is what it's going to look like. It's gonna be like this when you're done. Okay. In order to draw this, basically you just draw three squares, uh, one inside the other, and then you draw lines, almost like a cross on this outside right here, and then you put dots at the intersections and the corners. Okay. And then you will have your board. All right. So here's how you play. You decide who's going to go first. Uh, traditionally, white goes first, but so, what we do is, um, <laughs> if you've played a previous game, the loser will go first, okay? But, we've just now started, so we just rock, paper, scissors for it. Rock, paper, scissors, go. And, so that's me. Alright, so I just take a piece, and I find a place that I want to put it on the board, okay? So I'm just going to do this. Alright, and then it's Elisa's turn. Now, when you're setting up the board, you want to make sure that... Your opponent does not get three in a row because it really goes downhill quick. So I'm going to put one there. Right? And what happens is uh, your goal in playing this game is to try to get three pieces in a row. All right? Let's see. I'll put one there. Okay. And I'm going to put one there. Yeah, see, I've already gotten you, but you've gotten me too. So, here's what happens. If I get three in a row, so I'm going to put this here, what I can do now is I can take away one of her pieces. It's now permanently out of the game. So I'm just going to take this one, okay? And then she's going to go there. All right, all right, good. And then, let's see. I'll go, da, 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 da. let's try, let's go here, oh, see, I wasn't paying attention, so now you take one of my pieces, all right, good, I'm not sure yet, yes, I'm sure, okay, yeah, I just set it over there, all right, so now I'm going to go here, good, and then I'll go, so, what happens next? Oh, she has to put her last piece down. Good. All right, good. So now, you just move your pieces as long as there's a line connecting the dots. You can move it to that spot. Okay. So, she just put down her last piece. So, now it's my turn. And so, I am going to go... Let's see. And we'll just make this a quick game. So, I'll go here. And so, as soon as you get three in a row, see, that would be a bad place for me to go right there because then, oh, now she gets to take a piece. Yep. And then on and on until you, somebody basically loses all of their pieces, okay? And you can do three in a row like she has here. You can have, and I'm just going to move these pieces off, you can have three in a row like this, okay? And you can have three in a row like this. Each of those are three in a row. And so let's say that Elise 
gets down to the point where I've only got three pieces left, okay? And so she's stumping me, and I've only got three left. When it's my turn, I can move a piece anywhere that I want to any space that I want, okay? So let's say that she's just gone, like, let's say that she's gone here, and I just certainly don't want her to move this piece and then get another one. So I can move this from anywhere and then go right there, okay? So now you can go somewhere. Good. And I don't want her moving back and then stealing that spot, so I'm going to go there. Okay. And then I'm going to go here. And then that gives me three in a row. And so I'm going to try and get rid of this so that... And then she gets to go again. No, 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 no. Yeah, you just went. Okay. So, and then I'm going to try and do this to keep her from getting three in a row. And that's how it is. And so basically the game ends if you have only two pieces left, okay? And also the game will end if you legally cannot move any of your pieces. You just can't, you can't move a piece, okay? I'm gonna have a, sort of a board layout uh, in the notes below, and I'm also gonna have rules for playing the game. But uh, I hope this is something that uh, you can do. Anybody can play this, uh, it's pretty much any age. We've enjoyed it. Lisa's come to me a few times, and uh, Claire and Lisa have gotten me a few times, and I've gotten them a few times. So it's not uh, one of those games that uh, you have to be, uh, I don't know, super old to play. So uh, it's a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy this. And oh, I've never gotten to say this before in my entire life. If you like, hit the like button, <laughs> and also subscribe. Are those all the words? And comments below. Oh, and comments below. <laughs> so, also, uh, do this real quick. If you know of a website or a game, card game, anything, especially something that doesn't require a lot of stuff going out buying anything, if you know of any of those things, uh, please comment below. And uh, that way other people can uh, see those things and we can just kind of share ideas. All right? Guys, that's it. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.